What's up guys? Welcome back to my witchy world witches. God, it has been a it's been a while <laughs> since I have filmed. I have been sick for like my god, two two weeks or something like that, but it's felt like forever and I have been miserable and uh Self-care is very, very important, and uh, I took a time out so that I could uh, regroup, <laughs> to say the least. So I am still a little bit under the weather. So, well, I'm, I still have all the, the leftover stuff from being sick, so I have no makeup on, my hair is pulled back, I look like a hot mess, but we are gonna do this for you guys anyway because I am super excited. I want to start this video off um, by saying that Sacred Iseum, um I'm gonna wind up doing the boxes out of order just because I want to put this video up first to let you know where I have been this whole time. To you it probably felt like a very short amount of time. To me it felt like I took a whole year off because I miss you guys. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna do it a little bit out of order. Uh, Sacred Space Crate did come first. I didn't even finish the, the unboxings for the month of February, so I will get all of that stuff up, I promise. I just, uh, like I said, I needed to focus on my, my health. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit out of order, we're gonna do Sacred Iseum today. I will say that Sacred Iseum did stick to their word about listening to everyone's wishes and kind of um, sending their box out earlier than, than when they typically did before. So that rang true. I think it is the, if I'm not mistaken, it is the 4th of March right now as I'm filming this. God only knows when I'm going to be able to put this up. Um, but it, it's early. Usually it was coming towards like the, the middle of the month to late portion of the month. So they, uh, they listened to feedback, you guys, and I do love that. Um, anytime I've interacted with Sacred Isium, it has been a wonderful and pleasant experience. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you hear any noise or anything like that, it's because it's a beautiful day out right now and uh, I have my back door open so I apologize but it's one of those like I'm sorry I'm not sorry type deals because it feels great. Um, anyway, before we get to this unboxing I'm going to have you guys all take a second to make sure you give this video a like. Please, 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 please. Um, comment down below what your thoughts are on the box and if you are not already hit that subscribe button, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified of when I upload videos. Um, and uh, yeah, I like about 50% of you guys that watch are not subscribed, so I'm hoping to change that. <laughs> Did my puppy dog face work? Probably not. Anyway, um, all right, you guys, so without further ado, let's get into this box. All right, so we have a little bit of a longer box today, and Sacred Iseum is the only box that I continue to show every month, the inside of what it looks like. Look how cute that is with the little ribbon with the eggs on it. I love it! They, they, they just pay so much attention to detail. Like, I keep all these little ribbons. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I keep them. And then they always... Oh, they didn't wrap it today, but they always include a little cloth, like an altar cloth. So we have yellow this this time around, so I love that. Usually they wrap everything in the altar cloth, but it just looks like it's too much of an oddly shaped box to do that this month. So that is our altar cloth. We then have our lots of paperwork on top here. So it looks like, ooh, okay, okay, there's a lot going on. Um, so... Actually, let me put that down and we'll go to, to this guy real quick because this is our uh, theme. <laughs> okay, so Waking Up the Witch, Ostara and the Summer Solstice Sabbat. So that is our theme there. K 
came at you pretty quick there. Whoa, Shen, slow down. All right, so we'll go over what's in there. Um, let's read the top really quick. It says, Merry we meet. We gather this month of March in celebration for the return of Ostara. Sorry if I pronounce that incorrectly for some of you. I say Ostara, you say whatever you want. It's one of those tomato, tomato situations. Um, anyway, so we gather this month of March in celebration for the return of Ostara and the energy of birth and fertility. This year, as it is a leap year, Ostara begins on March 19th. This is also the time of the spring equinox, when the night and day share, time e share their time equally. This is also the longest night of the year, and moving forward into the year, the nights will get shorter and the days will grow longer. This also is worth celebration as we are all happy to welcome spring and the warming days. Yes! <laughs> During the month of March, the goddess Ostara, also known as Ostir, I might be pronouncing that wrong, awakens and brings her dance of life across the earth. The arrival of Ostara melts the snow and frost, allowing new life to spring forth from the ground. Ostara emits the seed of creation, raw energy for growth and development. She shares her powers with the earth and all the creatures upon it, including us. This month, we tap into the magic of creation to awaken the witch within, to activate our intuition, increase our abilities to cast our will, and expand our powers of healing. We take on this power with, the new, with a new awareness. We now tap in and evoke our magic within. Be the witch you are meant to be. Allow the energy to flow, flow freely and shed our cocoon, releasing with it the energies of fear, anxiety, doubt, sadness, anger, frustration, hate, regret, and emerge as, as source of energy, life energy, love energy. Wake up. Wake up and feel your power sprouting from you like the wild ivy taking over the ground in spring. Rise up. Rise up and be the powerful witch you know you are. You can release the past and all that which held you back. You are free, you are, and you are love. This time has come for us to be the healers of the world. Together, our love energy can spread like a wildfire. Love is the most powerful energy in the universe. It is pure source energy. From love, you are all that you need to be, and your powers will present themselves to you freely. Let's celebrate the spring equinox and the longer days coming, the return of Ostara and strengthening of our powers and the activation of our intuition. A great change is upon us. Let's hold strong and be strong. We are witches. We are strong. We are awake. Blessed be with love and light, sacred Isium. And then the little quote says, when you harness the power of intuition and intention, you are the most powerful creator of your universe, Brooks Brown. Wow, that was a very uh, powerful message. I actually have, I don't know if you can see that. I have goosebumps <laughs> from that. Um, it's funny because I feel like these boxes sometimes, like, I don't know, they, they just, they, they, they're meant for me. Uh, and I, I just did a reading for myself and one of the recurring themes of the cards that I kept pulling was intuition, 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 uh, rebirth, awakening, all that stuff. It was, it was really, really crazy. So... I kind of like that we got that. Um, anyway, moving on, we have some paperwork here. We got a bit, little business card here. Sorry for my sniffling. I am still getting over my cold. Okay, just in case you are curious, that is their business card. Ooh, this is super cool. So they are now going to be on social media, so that's really interesting. So they gave us a little uh, discount code, so I am going to give that, I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, and uh, it, says, it says it's for take 20% off your total purchase, so I don't, I'm just going to show you. 
they're starting a YouTube channel. It's coming soon. And this is a little thank you, I guess. Okay. So that's really cool. Next up we have our uh, Oracle card. So this is the back here. And then we have the front which says imagination. It's a very beautiful card. Let your dreams take flight. And again, I've been getting a lot of this. I don't, I'm not sure, not sure what, what it means, but well, I know what it means, but anyway <laughs> next up we have awaken the witch so this must be our spell of the month i actually always really enjoy the spells from sacred isium so this might be the one that i do with you guys this month i will have to uh we'll have to see we'll have to wait and see so that is our spell next we have some book of shadows pages moon goddesses so we have this guy here. Okay, very, very beautiful. I love this. Very nice. All right, and then next we have, it looks like some information on some, like, um, like on Ostara. So that's awesome. We have that. And you know I'll scan over these a little bit more in detail at the end. I love the artwork, the little eggs and the bunny. So cute. All right, you guys, next we have some little, <laughs> this one's backwards, some little egg decorations. That is adorable. So cute. And then we have some cedarwood incense. Thank you for labeling, I appreciate it. Um, I know a lot of people think that these bags are very wasteful. Uh, but I reuse them. That's why I like them so much. So the fact that it says cedar wood on there, the labels are super easy to peel off or just cross out or whatever. And then I use it for future incenses that don't have the little baggies, um, which a lot of these, these boxes don't have it. So I just reuse it and write the names of it on, on there. So, um, for, so for those of you who are concerned about the little plastic baby, ba uh, little plastic baggies don't fret man just reuse them you know all right so we have a bunch of goodies in here we have oh this must be our candle with our lovely bubble wrap here no it's not gonna happen oh this is so cute so we have a little little eggy on the front there and then you can see all the little lovely little goodies in there oh it's got a uh i don't want to undo it you guys but it's got a lovely like lemon smell it's gorgeous it is so pretty oh, i love it i always love their candles i love that they come in the jars i don't know i just i really like them all right, next up we have some, I'm getting a little nasally now, you guys. I'm sorry, you might have to deal with that. But we have some Echinacea Pure Puria Cut. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to butcher it, but this is what it is. And then, as always, Sacred Isium likes to put their definitions or of what they are. And then that's what it looks like. All right. Then we have Dandelion Leaf. I can pronounce that one, so that's that guy there. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Aww. Oh, what are you for? Look at this. You see? Oh, it's a little like ceramic bunny. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Adorable. All right, we got a little little baggie here. It's rubber banded and wrapped.
Ooh, this is gorgeous. You can't even, this is registering a straight black. Oh, oh I don't even have, we're gonna improvise. Can you see, hold on. I'm probably gonna wind up blinding you guys, but. No, it's not gonna work. Ugh. This is the richest, this is like the deepest, richest purple I've ever seen. It's gorgeous, and I'm so sorry it's not registering on camera. Ugh, you poor things. You can't see the beauty on that. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love the way they wrapped that so that they made sure that it didn't get like broken or anything like that. I, I believe that's, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably amethyst. Next up we have our oil. Always comes in a little baggie, always has extra herbs around it. It looks like dandelions in there. Let's take this guy out of our little baggie. Again, I reuse these little baggies, so don't fret, my friends. Oil's called Awaken. And wait till you see this. Can you see that? It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Oh, let me see if I can smell it. Looks like there's a bay leaf in here. Looks like some dandelions. Looks like there's some some crystals in there too, actually. Same crystals that were on the top of the uh, candle. Let's see. Nope. A little bit. I can smell it a little bit. It's a very sweet. It's like a sweet floral scent. It's not overpowering like, whoa, those are flowers. It's a very sweet scent. I actually, it's very pleasant. I like it a lot. And it feels, wow, it feels really powerful actually. It's, uh, It almost like awakened my senses as I smelled it because my nose is very stuffy and I could not smell it all. But the more I s like I I take a whiff of it, it almost like is like, hey, your senses are back, you know. Yeah, I really I love that. Oh, I am excited for that. Okay, we have another bubble wrap here. A jar oh this is this is nice so this is a glass jar intuition activation magical bath salt blend glass jar with like a plastic and metal lid yeah that's gorgeous Ooh, gotta say this is probably my favorite not gonna lie favorite packaging for the bath salts because a lot of boxes ooh, hoo, hoo, a lot of boxes do the bath salts um, and they do them in bags or it's gonna fall everywhere I'm trying to do it so it doesn't focus on my face it's gorgeous there's like pieces of lavender dandelion looks like bay leaf Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous and it smells delicious and I love the glass jar Oh, because that means you're gonna be able to use it over and over and over again without any wear and tear on the actual jar itself Love 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 Okay We got a little I don't know if this was meant to be on something. We got a little eggy Okay, and then we have Since that whoops it's in styrofoam. Oh, this is beautiful. 
Okay, so there's a, this, oh my god, I am, so let's, we got a little statue here, this is gorgeous, I evoke the dark sacred night, this is beautiful, hold on, let me make sure that this is it, okay, so this is it for the box, I'm gonna, this thing is heavy. This is so heavy. Um, so Sacred Space Crate also gave us a statue this month. And, uh, oh, I'm going to totally space on who the statue is of. Hold on. Taiki. Okay, so this is what sp a Sacred Space Crate gave. And this is the goddess Taiki. Gorgeous, made of a resin. This, I don't, I don't know who this is. I, I'm sorry, I don't, but uh, this is, this is solid. There's some foam on the bottom here. Wow, this is so pretty. So pretty, you guys. And then it says on the, the back here, the names of the, the, the artists, Raven Grimassi and Stephanie Taylor. I'm so sorry if I butchered those names, but look at the detail. Don't look at me. Look at the detail. It's, ugh, this whole thing is just, I mean, she's, I don't even know what to say. She's gorgeous. She's nude with attitude. Ugh. She's just so pretty. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was the last item in the box, and I am really, really super excited to find out who the heck that is a representation of. So let's look at this paperwork really quick. We're going to go through this super, super quick. Hopefully the camera doesn't conk out on me. Um, so we have the oracle card is from the Goddess Dream Oracle by Wendy Andrew. Um, we have the Equinox Power Candle, which is our little yellow guy here. We have our <laughs> herb that I could not pronounce, which is this guy, which is used as a power strength enhancer for to for charms sachets and herb mixes can also be used in spells for money drawing increasing your spiritual sensitivity and boosting psychic abilities we have dandelion cut leaf used in spells to activate your intuition and awareness healing purification dreams and wishes carry a pocket for boost of courage charm bags teas candle dressing uh, or add to your magical oils we have your awaken oil uh it's you designed to awaken your intuition your uh your emotions tap into your life force energy to boost your powers of intentions um i'm not gonna read everything i was correct so our little stone that we got in this guy is uh an amethyst double terminated crystal double terminated stones allow for more fluid flow of energy and directs the energy more freely Amethyst stones are known as stones of the mind. Ameth amethyst brings calmness and clarity where there is anxiety and confusion. I am a huge fan of amethyst. Uh, I believe, I think uh, a lot of people that surround me actually are. Um, cedarwood incense. A uh, great addition to rituals of healing and purification, unhexing, releasing negative and low vibrational energies, drawing upon the, its earth-based roots to aid in these spells. Then we have our Intuition Activation Bath Salt Blend. Uh, use the bath salt to activate and awaken your intuition and sensitivity to the spiritual realm. Then we have the 13 and a half inch moon goddess statue. She is the goddess of the moon in many pagan cultures, sitting atop her detailed pedestal with carvings that read, I evoke the dark sacred night. 
Beautiful detail in this solid cold cast resin statue weighs, weighing six pounds. Guys, so uh, camera cut out, forgot where I left off. Um, we were talking about the 13 and a half inch moon goddess statue. It is a open to your interpretation moon goddess statue. It, it's not meant to be a specific uh, goddess. Um, so it's whoever you want it to be or it's just, I hate the word generic that's not I feel like that's like a negative word in this sense but it's just a representation of the moon goddess so uh, it actually believe it or not kind of kind of goes with the theme of this box but it actually like almost inspired and awakened this um, idea in me and I kind of want to get your response from it on what you think um, I don't really know too much about the goddesses and the gods uh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to like sit down and study and all that crap because I am a single mother of a four-year-old I have two very large puppies and uh, I work a full-time job that is very strenuous and uh, taxing on my body, um, but I was thinking about doing maybe a series where one one video every so, I don't know how often I will do it, um, we do a video learning about a particular god or goddess. And I know that there's um, different goddesses and gods from different cultures or backgrounds. Um, so, might take a while. But uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea. If you would find that to be interesting on dedicating a whole video to a, a particular goddess or god. And uh, like Sacred Space Crate sent... Taiki here right gave a little bit of information on her which is it was very much to the point but uh I don't know maybe it would be nice to be able to like dig a little bit deeper on them I don't know you let me know what you think leave a comment down below on whether or not you think that's a good idea to start a series like that if you would like that anyway moving on we have the Ostara altar adornments it says here at sacred Isium, we are a huge fan of spring and love celebrating ostara we added in these additional adornments to bring the energy of ostara and the symbolism to your altar so we got these guys we have our little little eggies here okay um these items are just extras and not part of the box item quantity count. So that's nice to know that they were like, here guys, here's some extras, okay? These, I gotta tell you, these are, these are flippin' adorable. And I am so excited to switch out my altar. I still have, because I've been so flippin' sick, uh, I still have my Valentine's alter up with the goddess Aphrodite um, so I'm really excited to switch this up a little bit and uh, yeah I'm super excited all right you guys and then it just says the awaken witch spell which is this one here and um, I did I did mention in my so in February I did the love spell from sacred space crate um, I am feeling a lot of positive uh, vibes from this box. Uh, it's 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 like calling to me to do to do this one, and I haven't even read over this spell, but I'm almost positive I will wind up doing this spell for this month. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure, but probably. <laughs> Um, other than that, you guys, that is it for this box. This is a, this is a, uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's a very, 
Like I, I still have goosebumps from it. Like it was a very powerful box. There is a lot of like drive and determination and like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess determination is, I don't know, there's a lot of power coming off of this box. And I, I did, uh, if you haven't seen the last Sacred Isium box, there is a comment uh, that I kind of pinned to the top of the comment section that is from Sacred Isium, Brooks Brown themselves. And there is so much explanation in there. And I believe it's in that comment where... Uh, it stated that after Brooks got out of the hospital, um, there's been a lot of drive to, uh, uh there's just been a lot of drive. Um, they're very motivated over there at Sacred Iosium to just be the best they can be and, uh, they're no longer taking life for granted, not that they were in the beginning, but that was the gist that I got from the comment. You go read it yourself. Um, show your support because this they, they truly deserve it. To come back from a situation like, like, like that, like having serious health issues like that, and create such a powerful box where I'm like, it's like radiating energy uh, throughout every single item and it's so powerful and I just can, I can feel I can feel it. I can feel that determination. Uh, they they deserve all the praise in the world and I am so excited and happy for them and I can't wait to see what is coming in the future and I have to... They, they just went above and beyond at, uh, with this box and I am... I'm like proud to own this box. I'm proud to have this subscription and I am very grateful and excited to have received this and I think that is why I am going to wind up doing the spell in a future video from this specific box. Um, so yeah, show your love. Go over to, if you haven't seen that video, I'll probably link it at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned until the end. The end shot, I will have the video linked. Uh, where the, where the comment is so you can read it for yourself and show some love to the, uh, everyone over at Sacred Isium because they, they truly deserve it. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to stop rambling and taking up your time. Make sure you give this video a like for me, you guys. If you liked it, uh, leave your comments down below what you thought of the box, what you think of the idea about doing that Goddess and God series. And uh, most importantly, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 200 subscribers and I am in awe. I am so completely just overwhelmed with joy and love. And I, you know, I love connecting with you guys and, and uh, some, of you, some of you OGs that have been around for a while always commenting on my videos. You know, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for answering when I have questions and being so fully supportive. And I just, I love you guys all so much. So um, if you are already subscribed, make sure you share this video with your friends, post it on your Facebook pages, your Instagram, your Twitters, whatever the case may be, whatever social media you're on, make sure you share it with your witchy friends. And uh, yeah, let's see how far we can take this channel, you guys. I am so, so, so excited for the future at this point. And, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm just really, really excited. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will stop rambling. If you are already subscribed, share with your friends. And make sure you guys follow me on social media. I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram than anything else. But I will put it all up on the screen for you. Uh, and I'll also leave it in the description box below. But I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Snapchat is, I have a Snapchat because I, uh, once people decide they want to follow me on there, if they want to, if they want to decide to follow me on there, uh, 
it's a, a quicker, easier way to communicate with you guys directly. So, uh, if you guys aren't interested in Snapchat, then I'll probably wind up deleting it and uh, not being, not wasting my time. Anyway, uh, that is it for this video, my lovelies. Uh, I don't think I have anything left to say except thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you all in my next video.